Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcano and space weather update Thursday, April 22nd, around 1 p.m. Mountain Time 2021. Soufre, St. Vincent. Large eruption hasn't happened for days, and boom, like clockwork, explosive activity continues. Vok claiming that a plume has risen 30,000 feet to flight level 300. This is another large explosion, if it's true. I have the GO satellite up here, and if we just watch it to the end there, it's just coming up right there. So here is St. Vincent at the very end of the loop, that puff to the north of the mountain. There's, there is the island. And just to the north of it, you see a little puff. So it doesn't look to be anything spectacular or dramatic, just a quick uh, puff up to 30,000 feet. But more data needs to come in, and we're watching it. More fissures are opening up at the Flagradishval volcano in Iceland. And the Reykjanes Ridge is also rumbling over here in Reykjanes, just north of Grindavik town, which is not good news. There could be fissures, more fissures opening up. The current eruption is over here, and it is looking like there could be potentially more fissures opening up. I do have a report from Iceland Geology. I thought I had up. Let me just pull it up real quick. So here we are, strong earthquake in Reykjanes Volcano, just five kilometers north of Grindavik town, and it's not looking good. An earthquake with a magnitude 4.1 took place and was felt over a wide area of Reykjavik. And I do have the seismos. So come down and look. That was the event right there. Little seismic swarm. And this is not this is not where the current eruption is. They're worried a new fissure will open here and potentially decimate the town of Grindavik forever. So that is one potential situation. Now, the Iceland geology, uh, Iceland's Institute of Earth Science put out um, some data sets on the eruption. It's pretty interesting to look at, including the increase in the lava area from its inception here, and then an increasing here as the more fissures open up, almost a square kilometer currently covered in lava. The lava volume is, you can see, increasing as more fissures open. It slowed down the, the volume here, and then now it is increasing in volume, and the lava discharge here you can see increasing. Also, they're doing MGO and titanium dioxide. Little slight dip in the uh, MGO there as the eruption continues. And here you can see the gas releases becoming much larger recently, the largest amount of gas, and now dropping off again. So interesting data set there. And here we are live at Bob. Now this is the original fissure that opened up here and you can see that the weather in Iceland is not well good for volcano viewing I'll leave you links to the live volcano update there and here we have a map a live map a fan map of the Icelandic uh, lava flow the flows are in red here yellow is the potential fill area and there's all kind of stuff you can click on and uh, look at pictures and watch videos and get information. So I'll leave you links to that interactive map of the lava flows in Iceland. And here we have a wonderful picture of the northern lights over the volcano erupting in Iceland currently. And this is a sign of the times. Uh, we're going to be doing an update on some aurora that showed up in Japan last week in a place that it's almost never occurring. As we enter the magnetic excursion in the grand solar minimum, the sun is waking up multiple sea flares in the last 12 hours, including a coronal mass ejection heading our way. Now, a long duration sea flare around AR 2816 early this morning, beginning at approximately 415 UTC, that's this spike here, looks to have produced a possible earth-directed coronal mass ejection. And we're gonna show you ISWA has updated their spiral, and there it is coming right at us. Impact will be on the 25th. We could have minor to moderate geomagnetic storms and perturbations to communications, satellite, and the grid. And we're going to be keep, keeping a close eye on it. The WSA annual spiral has not been updated. It is not over at that data set, but it is here at ISWA on the streamer. And it is showing a coronal mass ejection headed our way April 25th.
current geomagnetic ac uh, conditions are quiet, KP2, coming off of KP0 yesterday, you could have probably saw some quote-unquote contrails, persistent ones that people call chemtrails because of this KP0 moment yesterday afternoon. Probably a lot of those chemi looking things up there. Now, what we're looking at here is the solar plasma temperature, and the sun is shutting down. It is the coldest it has ever been since records have began being kept, and we're headed back into a grand solar minimum as volcanoes awaken, more seismic activity, and more cooling. And we're not fooling. That's the data. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents best poor performance. As you're living a magnetic excursion during a grand solar minimum. We love each and every one of you. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. And we'll see you soon. Nanny, nanny, nanny.